Hey guys, Jeremy here with The Hockey Movement. In this video, I'm doing a quick comparison of Mars blades versus traditional roller blades. So you might have seen some of my previous videos where I'm showing you how to improve your stick handling and your skating using the Mars blades, and I figured it'd be a good idea to do a video comparing the two. So let's get right into it. The first big difference is the system. So with traditional roller blades, it's an all-in-one deal. For about $200, you get the boot, the frame, the wheels, and you're good to go. With Mars blades, you get the chassis and the wheels, and you have to get an old pair of skates, take the uh, holder and the blade off, and then mount it to your old boot. Or in my case, put it on a new set of Ribeiro boots. This is what you get. So this is a kit, you get the wheels, you get the chassis, and everything you need to install it. However, I do recommend getting it installed at a shop. And I just put the video on my channel on how to install the Mars blade, so I'll link to it right there. The issue with traditional roller blades is that this line right here where the wheels meet the ground is flat and on regular skates it's rockered. I'll show you what I mean. So you can see the rocker effect here and we'll pretend that this is ice and what you'll notice is that only a portion of the blade is touching the ice at once. What this does is it allows you to constantly shift your weight forwards or backwards for the best performance depending on what move you're doing. Crossovers, tight turns, acceleration, stopping. You're always shifting your weight and finding that best part of the blade to use. With traditional roller blades, you have everything touching, or you're on your heel, or you're on your toe. Now here I have a smaller wheel at the front, so that allows a little bit of a rocker effect, but not much. It still doesn't have the same effect as being on the ice. What Mars Blade did is simple. One piece here, one piece here, the bottom has a curve going like that, and the top has a curve going like that. They're connected right here, and you can adjust how much of a rocker you want. So if you watch these pieces right here, you can see that they're moving. All right, so as you shift your weight, you're getting that slight movement that you don't normally get with regular inline. It's subtle, but you notice it. All right, that's enough talk. Let's lace them up and see how they feel. Traditional on the left, Mars blade on the right. Fresh like all whites, they fall right. Just another Vic of the mic fight, the click tight. You can feel it coming when I strike. Use a diva, call you Tina, so I must be Ike, right? Believe that I'ma see you put you out like a brake light. You fake, right? Just sit tight while oh, just take flight. I'm hella hot, stop hating the game, man. I swear you're not and put you up on my game plan. We not the same, fam. We not the same clan. I'm ill enough to make a firm stand in quicksand. My skill is tough, I put my hand on your spit gland and call your bluff and lead you straight to the promised land. I promise, man, I probably pulverize a continent and cook vowels and consonants. Tell me we ain't bombing it. It's what you need if I feel you got it. Overall, there's nothing wrong with traditional roller blades. I mean, if you have them, use them. But the Mars blades are a little bit different. What I notice is that on the Mars blades, I just feel a little bit more challenged, right? Like when I'm leaning forwards, leaning backwards, it's just a little bit different. It's subtle, but when I have that lean, I'm trying to keep that balance more with these. I feel more anchored in the traditional ones. So it's almost like when I lean forwards, it's pulling me back to the middle to keep my weight right over the blade. Whereas with the Mars blades, if I lean forwards, it almost feels like I'm speeding up. Like it's allowing me to get my weight onto the front of the blade and use all areas of the wheels, I guess I should say, instead of the blades. So it feels like I'm pretty restricted, like I have to be flat footed on traditional ones. On the Mars blades, I can use all parts of it. And I think that's going to carry over onto the ice because if you can use every part, then you're going to be more used to using those parts and having the weights in the right spot when you hit the ice. Overall, the Mars blade roller frame compared to the traditional one, there is a difference. And in my opinion, it will make you a better hockey player on the ice. It's just a matter of how often you're going to use it. If you buy it and you don't get out there too often, then it's not really going to help you. So if you're already using your roller blades quite a bit and you have an old pair of skate boots, pretty simple. Pick up the frame, put them on your old boots, and you're going to have an improvement. If you're not rollerblading that much and you have a pair, I'd recommend trying to use them once or twice a week. And if you can commit to that, then you can think about getting the Mars blades and incorporating it into your training because I do see it as a training tool for hockey players. And it only works if you actually use it. If you want to learn a little bit more about the Mars blade roller frame, I'll put the link down there in the video description. Hit the link and you can visit their website, learn a little bit more. And if you like hockey videos, hit that subscribe button. Can pull out black flies. Ah. Because we do new hockey videos every single week. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video. If you want to learn a little bit more about the Mars Braid, Mars Blade, Mars Braid.